Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nine Gale. So, the last episode we completed the uh, trial of Ambiance and killed the Jabberwock over here. The Ambiance Site of Power. And then unlocked our next area, which is the Sylvanas Cradle. Which we're going to just head right on over there. Somehow. There we go. Uh, 100% harvest wood yield. Wow. Oh, that's a portal realm. Oh, I'm wondering if they changed how, uh, just basic realms work. Also, yeah, we have, a uh, balanced. Gods has zero power. Uh... Okay, so we're not getting attacked when portals spawn anymore. At least at the crossroads. I don't know if they're gonna do the uh, old portal system at all, or if they just got got rid of that system. Doesn't look like they got rid of the prep time for the portals. Because before you used to activate your portal, defend against a couple waves of enemies until the portal opened up and then you went in. So, I'm either going to not have a loading screen because this is just loading what we're going for. Or it's still going to give me a loading screen. It was just like super long prepping the uh, realm that we're going to. They shelter when hailstorm strikes. They can be lethal. Yeah, there was hailstorms before. You had to have the umbrella not to take damage. All right, so we're still in the woodland biome. They, yeah, this is completely different. Like I said in my uh, past episode, they just randomly generated the world and you had to go find your quest items even the quest things were randomly generated but anyway uh let's see here our main quest the imperial network sylvan's cradle awaken the site of power in sylvan's cradle where is our state of oh we actually have a person down here to the left i wonder if she'll give me or they whoever they are will give you my next uh quest step Oh, it's an actual village. M. Joe Chenoweth? You look angry. I know every face that lives in Sylvian's Cradle, and you are not one of them. Are you with the witch? Witch? For the sake of expediency, I'll believe you. With our realm in the trees in this state, I'm afraid we don't have the resources to welcome any newcomers. I'm certain you understand. The name's uh, Miriam. As an act of good faith, I can answer any question you might have, but then you had best move on to your next realm. Uh, I'm curious about the state of the trees. Why are they like this? I'm seeing experienced realm walkers. Have you seen any come through? Can I offer you or your village any help? Oh, let's see the Realm Walker thing. Realm Walker and his assistant passed through a while back, headed for the temple. Not certain if they're still there or not. Wouldn't hurt to look into. Do with your time what you will. Just don't waste mine. Now, is that all? Here's about the state of the trees. Why are they like this? When a witch enters a realm and not long after the trees begin to wither, the correlation is not hard to make. Why are you so opposed to witches? I should ask why you seem to be s so unconcerned. A witch is a woman who has contorted, consorted with a darker fae, demons. What good could, a could such a person have? If anyone is at fault for the state of our realm, it must be such a person. Tried anything to cure the trees? Do you think this settlement has lasted as long as it has because we sit and wish our problems away? No, botanists cure was work 
has worked thus far. Not even the ritual of our Druidic ancestors brought us any success. Our greatest and wisest minds are at a loss for what could end this corruption. Alright, uh, what did, when did the corruption start? Around the same time we started getting crowds of refugees fleeing Earth. That witch and her people arrived just a day prior to that. We can't deny our suspicions, that is. How did they know the flee Earth before anything had ever happened? And why do they insist on settling here despite the corruption? Alright, aside from the witch. She is my best lead, but if you insist on poking your nose elsewhere, you can visit the temple ruins. As I said, that's where the Realm Walker and his assistant were last I saw. I've seen the assistant studying the other runes from time to time. Perhaps she has far-fetched calcularion reasoning you could chase. Now, is that all? Could I offer the village any help? Realm Walker, always the altruist, trying to be the hero of every realm they visit. Though... Uh, though, after this calamity everyone touting about, we've had to deal with far too many of those bound fiends. We could use a sacrificial soul eager to swing an axe pick. Tell me, Roman Walker, which suits you more, clearing buildings or clearing vaults? Uh, tell me about these vaults. They're an old vault we long abandoned, and I suspect that's where the bound are coming from. If you feel brave enough to cut them off at the source, it would much be appreciated. I can clear that for you. The extra help be appreciated. Tell me more about the buildings. Nearby there are some older buildings we had hoped to repurpose, but it seems the Bound have made them a nest. We tried to barricade one of them, but we lost the battle quickly. Clearing them out would win us those buildings back and make our town a whole lot safer. Sounds like a challenge made for me. And be my guest. Anything else? Not at the moment. Now is that all? I'll leave you be. Looks like we've got a bunch of side quests, but we'll continue on with our main quests. Uh, consult the ex an experienced realm walker. So they headed for one of the ruins. So I'm guessing they headed for the Sylvian site of uh, Cradle. So we need to head down this way. We'll put a star stamp down there. So I think they show up on the mini-map? No, no they do not. Okay, so we need to head left and head down the road. Well, there's going to be the same type of uh, creatures in this or there's going to be some uh, other creatures that we have to deal with. Before in the uh, original forest realm we had spiders, wolves, the bound. Not much else besides that though. Oh, I am I took the wrong road. There's an essence trader down this road, though. Let's go see what he has to offer. The essence traders in this game are the basically the... They're not, I wouldn't really call them merchants, but... Uh, hello, bear. People that sell you stuff. You can't sell anything to them, but... You can buy stuff from them. Uh, Knight of the Realms. Many graces of God lend me strength in these lands. The sorcerer Archimago freed me and some of my brethren from trials of the Emperor Dalclesian. Uh, by, by what means I do not know. Yet his sorcery has brought us to what he calls the Realms, a place of wonder and beauty that even the greatest of poets could not fathom. Architecture that surpasses the glory of Rome. Tower with foundations free of rock and soil. Roads that shine like the rising sun and gates that with a single step win passage to faraway lands. These marvels are both wonderful and terrifying to behold. Those who inhabit and call this place home are most peculiar. Archmango calls them Fae, and although I never crossed their paths before, they speak our language with ease and fluidity, as if native to our homelands themselves. There's another amidst their company who also understands the work of the Fae, 
A woman garbed in black, her speech is both familiar and foreign to me. Yet there is a, a comfort there, as if we were destined to venture forth upon distant roads. Her name is Una, George of Lita. Okay. So, resources I don't need. Got any new potions? Oh, this is a green currency. We're in the green currency territory now. Okay. Uh, I think these are actually buy all buyable items. They're not recipes. But it seems they changed it to if you find an item, it automatically unlocks the recipe for you. Uh, she's collecting wood that we'll need probably later. So let's head on through the woods then, instead of following the road. And head towards the Cradle of Power. And I'll try not to deal with bears. What is that? Those are interesting. Are those Jabberwocks? No, they're like weird bat creatures. Not dealing with the bound right now. Looks like my uh, companion's gonna deal with them though. Uh, then we need to head right over here. Yeah, I should be straight up this road. I heard the bear. I don't see the bear. Oh, there's the bear. Ah, uh, here's the assistant that they're talking about. Aurelia Vigo Ortega. I see the concern etched on your face, but I don't advise coming any closer. We're not yet certain how contagious this is. What ails you? Never mind that. This is beyond your holding minute. A Realm Walker's pocket watch? You carry the Hermetic Guidebook, too, but... You're no member of the Explorer's League? I was given these tools. No need to get defensive. I... Simply wonder if I've misjudged you. Now, admittedly, I wouldn't know Quatermain's newest GR game recruits. But given the state of things, hmm. Yes. I suppose we're all realm walkers now. Aurelio Acevedo Ortega is the name. Ambassador Explorer by title and 30 year realm walker by trade. I only regret that you have found me. In this present condition. I saw the sea got realm walkers for inside into these trees. Hmm. Though we be fellows in realmic wanderlust, I can see it in the dark of your eyes. You're an infant in these realms. A refugee fleeing the pale light hazard. Your concerns, therefore, are better placed elsewhere. I have this well in hand. But perhaps my quartermaster, Miss Valvani, has use of you. I'll speak Excellent. with her. I suspect she'll have all the information you need. You should get some I rest. Tried. It does not come easily. But if you're leaving me so I might try again, take with you this geoarcane idiom to ponder. Truths reveal themselves to those who walk with curious eyes. Huh. I don't remember them being voice acted besides Puck. So this is interesting that they voice acted everyone now. 
I'm making course for Nightingale and was hoping to experience Realm Walkers might know the way. Nightingale. That city hasn't crossed my mind in over two years. I cannot get you there in my current condition, but I have a colleague, Nellie Bly. I know little about her concrete plants, but she was working with Quatermain, attempting to find a haven for those who've been stranded in the realms. Nightingale surely is their destination. Where am I find Nelly? Last we spoke, Nelly was in a realm by the name of Gloriana's Tears. One where scorching dunes could char Lucifer himself. Only a well meaning fool would station herself amid such conditions. How can I reach Nelly then? In time long past, Gloriana's Tears was but a few realms away from Sylvan's Cradle by way of the Imperial Network. If one were able to cleanse the site of power, I suppose one could reconnect the network and reach Nelly's camp. No. If Nelly knew that I'd sent a novice realm walker on a perilous jaunt to reconnect an ancient Fey portal network, she'd grind my brain into sausage. That's what I must do. Hold a minute, my fledgling. This may not yet be your plight. Besides, the sight of power is inaccessible so long as that gate remains closed. You'll need to show a lot more than confidence before I'll be convinced to open it. Why can't I pass through the gate? Passing through that gate is exactly how I came to find myself in this current condition. I closed it to prevent officious heroes such as yourself from entering and falling victim as well. Uh, what were you doing beyond the gate? Searching for a being, for a place. Which in some ways are one and the same and nigh impossible to locate. But such yearning is the burden of dreams that calls us forth. However, my current expedition is certainly not a pressing matter. At least not for you. I'm sure you have other questions. Have other topics. Uh, I'll leave you for now and talk to your quorum. Uh, Desma... A Valvani? Excuse my inattention. We have a rather urgent situation on our hands at the moment that requires my utmost focus. Your friend doesn't seem well. Friend? Puh! But you are correct. He is quite unwell indeed. The leader of this expedition, uh, Mr. Avocado... Avedo Ortega, not Avocado, suffers an infliction unlike anything I have seen, even after the years in the laboratories uh, of the Calcularia. I am doing all I can to devise a treatment, but I near the end of what can be accomplished from this vantage. I dare not leave him alone in such state, and your feet on the ground would be greatly appreciated. How can I help? Thank you. Much as I might wish to wring the old bastard's neck, I have no desire to see him perish in my care. You surely noticed the trees on your way to us, yes? Their affliction began in tandem with Aurelio... Uh, Mr. A Avedo... <laughs> Acevedo Ortega, as he skulked about the God's forsaken site of power. I have little in the way of concrete knowledge, but I believe the sickness to be fey in nature, as much curse as disaster. The disease have a cure? That is what I'm searching for, and where our aid is needed. Despite its m magical origins, I believe the sickness can be treated as any sickness, but we lack the resources for proper development and testing. I already have a recipe for the serviceable antidote, but I need you to brew additional samples and prove their efficiencies before I dare treat Aurelio or risk worsening the village abhorrent plight. What should I test these potions on? Listen well, I have something quite particular in mind, and we must not take chances with the antidote safety or... Uh, Efficiency. Just as this site seems to be bare of the infection, so too does Fey runes in the area and the life therein. I sought to search them before I knew Aurelio's illness should progress so rapidly. Though the bound made exploration difficult, there are two I know to contain suitable test subjects. Within one, a species of mushrooms now corrupt and rotting, and the other, a charnute facing certain death. How will I di identify these mushrooms? These are no ordinary earthling fungi. They grow immensely large in the deepest parts of the runes. They are, in fact, quite woody to the touch, not so dissimilar to a tree. A carnu, even realm spirits, can contact, contract the plague? 
It would seem so. I'm worrying a worrying truth to be sure. Aside from our need for a trial, I would like to see this creature made well. Perhaps the realms would not be faring so poorly were its steward hale enough to restore it. I'll return shortly. Thank you, Realm Walker. And before you go, my name is Desmo Balvani. It is a joy not to be facing these dark times alone. Alright, we completed that quest. So it's like we have... Oh, Puck wants to talk to us. How interesting. Quite the mare's nest thou hath become entangled in. Deals made and broken, a vicious curse unleashed. Yet there is more afoot than any child of Earth has yet gleaned. Fortunately, none better know the dealings of Fae than the Fae themselves. And you have an expert close at hand. But, of course, nothing that comes free is to be trusted in the wild's fleshling. I might be persuaded to share my knowledge in exchange for a favor. Elsewhere in Sylvan's cradle there lingers an old glyph, etched by adversaries of the Summer Court many moons past. Destroy it, and I will tell you what I know of this cursed land. Favor for a favor. Okay, so the site of power uh, is not part of our main quest. And, well, it looks like it's part of a section of our main quest. But let's continue on with Sylvia's uh, Cradle's main quest, which is find the cure. Uh, acquire a purity potion, acquire a purity potion. So our two people are right here. Uh, an odd glyph, a fey glyph you were tasked to destroy. I'm guessing that's what Puck wants us to destroy. So we'll head over to the fey glyph uh, real quick. And then we'll have to find out where the other quest stuff is after that. I'm sure he'll tell us. Let's uh, head on down here. Oh, and this is the mushroom, I guess he's talking about. Uh, she was talking about. Oh, it's immune to dam- Oh, I need a gear score 25 axe to be able to chop this. We did unlock tier 2 of progression. Do we unlock tier 2 of progression for tools? It looks like we have... So that's the axe pick. That's a weapon. This is our regular axe. We need 25 to learn that. And it costs ingots and lumber. Uh, so it looks like we're going to need to get some resources before we can chop that type of tree down. But let's uh, head over and destroy the uh, fey thing over here. Uh, and it's this way, not that way. I think that's the spirit she was talking about. I'll have to figure out how to deal with that later. Yeah, so it's like tier 2 essence can be attained here. Alright, we need to head to the left over here. So I should be standing right on top of the glyph. Where is it? Yeah, some of these trees look really messed up. I'll zoom in on the map here.
So it says it should be right where this rock is. What is this rock made out of, by the way? Oh, it's just slate. It does say it should be around here, though. I'm gonna... Wait, it's not down there, is it? I know it's nowhere near. We're gonna check down there real quick, and if it's not down there, I'm gonna make a cut here while I probably spend half an hour searching for this glyph. So I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. There's no rune around here. Oh, I bet I I bet it's this corrupted cave entrance. I bet I go through the corrupted cave entrance and it leads me through this uh, hill right here to f get to the runes. So let's head on there and see if that's what the situation is. So the cave is either down lower? Okay, water hurts. Water hurts very much. Oh, why does the water hurt? Yeah, I guess we'll find this cave up here. Oh, that looks like the entrance. Yeah, there we go. This will probably lead us to where we need to go. Desmond Valley's Field Notes, third entry. Uncovering a safe route to the interior of the ruins has proven most difficult. Every entryway is overrun with swarms of bound, depriving me any means of access to secrets within lie beyond my reach. However, during our initial reconnaissance efforts, we spotted peculiar fungi of the region that I have not seen elsewhere within the realms. I believe this particular mushroom showing the typical signs of infection has a direct correlation to the runes which lie beyond our reach. Testing my formulas on the fungi is the next step in defining its limits. That being said, I must ensure my w well-being before attempting any means of extraction. Standard safety protocols may not suffice in the presence of the fungi. I cannot afford to fall in the midst of our dire circumstances. Failure to accommodate this necessity could result not only in the loss of our collect collective labors, but also that of Aurelia's life. Reflecting upon past entries, I must ask, do I fear the loss of the expedition or that of my colleague? Oh, these are weird looking worm tendrils. Yeah, it must be down here. Oh! Don't walk in the red. Got it. The mushroom looks infected. This would be a perfect candidate to test some of this formula if it had a potion if you had the potion with you. Oh, I need to acquire purity. They were probably on her table, I bet. Let's head upward and try to find this glyph, though. Oh, 
don't go too far. Oh yeah, there's the glyph. This glyph behaves differently than other glyphs you found. This must be the glyph Pick warned you about. Shire the glyph, turn in. I pay close attention. You can discern unfamiliar shapes forming sentences in a language you don't understand failing. Attempt to memorize the shapes. You spend a few minutes meticulously studying the shapes, committing your delicate lines to curve in your memory. Share the glyph. Alright, Puck. Another fine favor finished. I had faith my goodwill was not misplaced. And of course, fret not over the shattered glyph. It was little more than a flawed record of events already long past relevancy. Now then, your well-earned reward. The Fey who bound Sylvan's cradle in contract are ones I knew well, though they have long since fallen from the graces of more eminent kin. The folly inherent of their dealings here, oaths of blood, suffering eternal, is their gauche indelicacy, typical for Fay of their caliber. Such brutish contracts invariably hold ways to circumvent them, and this is no exception. One might consider that suffering can be ended in a myriad of ways. Some violate the terms of this deal, but not all. Do with this what you may. My knowledge is yours. And this arrangement is satisfied. No reward? The red stuff's still here. Uh, let's just umbrella our way down. Yeah, I bet the potions were on her table, or I gotta craft them. One, one of those two are the thing. So I'll uh, I'll make a cut here, run back up there, see if I can grab a potion, and then get back down here. Okay, so um, in between cuts, I had to do a lot of stuff. Uh, you need a tool that's grade 25, so I had to make the... Oh, where's my inventory at? There we go. I had to make the refined sickle to be able to harvest these. These are what you're looking for to make the purity potions because the purity potions were not on her table. Uh, game design output for campaign purposes, I would suggest putting two purity potions on her table so that you can actually do the quest instead of having to go craft stuff. So I spent about 30 minutes looking for these as well as in between, I made the refined workbench to be able to make the refined sickle to be able to harvest these. Which, that was a hassle and a half. And then I also had to make the uh, refined uh, alchemy boiler. And the purity potions right here, which requires uh, one whole bloom, one tier one essence, one piece of glass. And if you're looking for Holt Blooms, you gotta find a cluster of these flowery trees. I didn't find them in my home biome. It says they spawn in forest biomes, but I just found it in the Sylvian's Cradle. But uh, we're gonna harvest these and then go make our potion. And where I found this cluster of trees are, because I don't know how randomized this is, uh, it's in this location on my map. So, this is the uh, site of Cradle Power, and then I headed north up here, past the uh, Essence Trader to get here. But anyway, let us... Oh, there's a portal up here. Interesting. But I'll have to head back to my respite, craft the two potions that we need, and then we shall be progressing on with this campaign area. So let's try out our respite. It's 
So yeah, if you're wondering where where you go from there, that's that's what you have to do. Like I said, gameplay standpoint for campaign purposes, I would suggest just having the two potions on her table so that it can just be done and over with. But anyway, let's make our two purity potions that we need. I guess five. No, we'll make a good group of ten. That way we have enough. Oh, and then everything needs a fire, of course. Finish that, grab our purity potions. And let's head on back to the uh, Return to the Crossways. Portal through and then go uh, clear the uh, mushrooms and the carnutes. Which we know where the mushrooms are. They're in that uh, corrupted cave and the carnute is uh, actually labeled on the map. Like uh, down south from my spawned map. So our mushrooms are in this corrupted cave right here. And then our corrupted Fey runes housing and corrupted carnivores right there. Alright, so let's uh start working our way down there. But yeah, if you're wondering where to go once you start that quest, that's basically what you got to do. Oh, I broke my leg. Healing salve will cure that up for me. Yeah, have healing salves on hand just in case you break anything. Pop one of those and you are fine. direction. Now I don't know if it's because I put the stamina charm on my boots that makes it so I don't have to use stamina when running. But if that is the case, I would suggest doing that. They're like the one of the very first charms you can make. Oh, I'm not dealing with the cleaver bound. They hurt. <laughs> Downside about nighttime is the bound are basically ever spawning relentless bastards. So cure a mushroom, and then we'll head over to that canoe and uh, start working with that. <laughs> no, the mushroom wasn't on this side. It was behind this rock, wasn't it? Was it? No, it was down below on a side path because this is where the uh, symbol was. Or was it down here in this crevice? Ah, oh, it was down here in this crevice. All right, the mushroom looks infected. Uh, pour the purity potion on the mushroom cap. The mushroom cues will sizzle and froth as the corruption attempts to flee the burning anguish. The elixir acts fast, and before the corruption can dissipate, it splinters into nothingness before your eyes. 
All right, so we got that one done. Oh, it does not look like it got rid of Vic of the corruption now. Maybe when we get rid of both of them, it'll get rid of the corruption for us. Oh, if you're wondering about my umbrella, I'm using the Twitch Drop umbrella. I figured it's... It, it does increase my armor a little bit for and good for blocking purposes, but nothing else much. All right, let's head over and cure the uh, Charnute plant. Thankfully, it is not far. But I also think I might be screwing myself into having to go through the water. Ah, damn it. Uh, hopefully I just follow the coast and it'll lead me upwards. <laughs> Was the canoe in that temple up there? Looks like it might be. All right then, we're gonna have to bring out good old climbing picks. I'm guessing it must be in here. Let's get our food up. Ooh, I might actually just need my climbing picks in general here. Okay. Do I have to do the puzzle, or is the flower just on the outside? I'm assuming I'm probably going to have to do the puzzle on the inside to get to my objective. Uh, Desmond Valerie's uh, notes. My excursion and tests have run their course. I must double my efforts to test my formula and acquire samples from advanced subjects. One particular subject that has my interest is the carnute that lies trapped within the runes. So it is in there. All right. I believe it's connected to Sylvan's Cradle is key to understanding the corruption that runs rampant for it to display telltale signs of infection, yet without a crew, we have no means of capturing this hostile spirit. My responsibilities as quartermaster is to head to the research are now at odds, tested by a rather stubborn, stubborn refusal of any means of medical support. Every morning's condition grows worse, and soon we will altogether lack the strength or will to accept his daily rations. I find myself at an impasse with a ticking clock hanging over my head. Lacking the expertise of Miss Sklo Sklodowska Curry to develop a proper remedy in it, Executive decision must be made, a catalyst to spark action. We need access to the runes that lie beyond our reach. A task I cannot enact alone. All I can do is hope that help arrives. Testing my formula on the infected Karnu is integral to my work if I am to achieve the, any means of success. That one shot of that. Holy crap. That was a lot of damage. Headshot. Oh, that opened a way to the inside from the roof instead of coming through that hole on the side. Interesting. Alright, 
right, collect all the symbols. Looks like this one doesn't have that, uh, that jump back skill. That's kind of disappointing. Also, we're going to heal up so I don't die here. more symbols hiding around. There's one up there I can see. So it's like I do have to go on the outside to get that one. Okay, so that's the reason for going up there. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's one behind this wall real quick, though. Yes, there was. That was another fake. That was another destructible wall. That uh, gets me outside. All right, we're gonna have to go around and uh, jump up through that hole on the other side. I'm still missing one? Interesting. Oh, here it is. All right, that was all of them. A 25 tier two essence bundle. Oh, it is one of the deer spirits. Oh, let's purify you, sir. The carnival looks in pain. It has neither the drive nor the strength to fight you. This is the perfect hand to test how Desmond's forming reacts to realmic life. Or the purity potion. Carnival first shoots up, its skin crawling as the corruption protests against the searing sting. For an instant, the corruption burns stronger, and then, like a wheezing breathe, breath. It painfully crumbles into the air. Ooh, why do you look like you've been shackled to the ground? Oh, please. I gotta collect that gilded lumber. It's very useful later on in the game. Kinda looks like a Wendigo, in all honesty. Uh, Singer slows. Magic pulls with a jewel trinket, a shimmering glow in the mark, if no simple bubble. Terry Fate Warner provides a power beyond normal mages. Uh, use the transmog station to change appearance. Oh, they added transmogs? Nice! Sup, Sir Puck. What's this? Intrepid fleshling. Claiming bounty from deep within the hypogean sanctums of fairer folk. Yet hast thou any inkling of what thou holdest cupped in mortal mitts? The synchronous lotus is no simple bauble, but a potent fay bijou, filled to bursting with a mere sliver 
of the realm's magic. It is the scavenged foundation upon which your kind so often builds their fanciful toys. Forget not that it was we who bestowed magic unto man. Without such generosity, what might the children of Earth have been reduced to? Though, even with my kin absent, there is great danger in plucking our pelf while foregoing reciprocity. What luck we two are friends, that I may beteem this boon unto you. And, since you now possess the means to power it, I have another gift to grant. One more of Robin's favors parceled. The means to construct a portal of one's own. In Aeon's past, portals were notoriously taxing and toilsome for humans to conceive and maintain. However, in the turmoil following the Calamity, I chanced upon a newfangled arch design that dares to make elementary what was once unattainable. You need only seek the materials required to raise this crude apparatus and place the lotus therein. Erecting it will create a contract with this realm's spirits to tame the interrealmic lacuna. Use it well, Realmwalker, that you may yet catch the flown nightingale. Uh, so it looks like we're able to craft a portal now. Also, uh, hold on. What? Uh, Synchronized Lotus. Damn it. Uh, I'll have to read that later. Or just pause that moment on this video when I get back into it. Uh, if I caught a sudden glimpse of it. But anyway, we are done with that. I need to alleviate some weight. What is weighing me down a ton, actually? Because the Lotus weighs nothing. I know that's how you used to create your portals. It's probably the lumber that's... Yeah, 33 kilograms. Holy crap. Uh, Lizzie, I need your help. I need you to carry stuff. Uh, of course you're outside, so I have to slow walk my butt out there. And of course you're stuck on a wall. Alright, magic equipment inventory. Take all this heavy stuff. Alright, that's much better. All right, and then we shall head back to the uh, to Desma, all the way up there. I don't want to fight anything, I just want to go. But yeah, we uh we cured the It's very annoying getting those potions a tiny bit. Uh, especially finding that plant, but finding those plants have always been annoying. I was kind of hoping they would have changed that whole uh, mechanic, but it's you still need to find the uh, little cluster of trees and then have a picked, uh, I mean, a sickle to harvest the plants that grow near them. Oh yeah, it's raining, so I'm wet. Uh, Umbrella, you will stop that. I know I was a bit delayed on that wording right there.
right, before I even talk to these people, make sure this is dealt with. Okay, it looks like they're not following me anymore. Time is of the essence, Realm Walker. If you have need of me, please make it quick. I was able to test your potion. Not a moment too soon, Realm Walker. Aurelio's condition has only grown worse. You must tell me what exactly were the potion's effects when applied to the mushrooms. Uh, sickness was cured immediately, basically. Let's not jump to hasty conclusions, but that is promising. Now, what of the Carnute? A far different form of life, but were the results as evidence? Yes, the effect was quite instantaneous. Excellent! I must say, this is a favorable an outcome as I could have hoped for, and I believe I know what is needed to strengthen this bomb into a true curative. Take these tinctures. Once combined with the original formula, they should provide a marked improvement. May I be ready to give Aurelio? Uh, it must be, but please, treat the trees before anything else. This formulation is still even new even with our testing and it would be a weight off my mind to know the roots do not expire upon contact. And if I know Aurelio half as well as I believe, he may deny treatment if he feels his untended mistakes render him undeserving. Uh, I'll return as quickly as I'm able. If my new formulation work is devised, I believe it will be able to stop the disease spread and cleanse the rot from the afflicted trees. You will need to apply it to the roots, a grand task of exhuming the forest entirely, but as luck would have it, if the trees here have a great deal in common with earthly fungi, their roots function much like a mycorrhizal network, and if one tree receives treatment, it is only a matter of time before all are tended. There is yet another rune which, during my earlier observations, seemed to have been breached by that very root system. Make your way to it, and you'll have easy access. Now I know what I must do. Best of luck, Realm Walker. We will all need it. Uh, claim the tier two consumable. Oh, it wants me to make another potion. He's purity potion. Uh. Ex and ex oh, it needs four potions to make? Huh. Learn for free. Are these base potions? Yes, these were base potions. Uh, so, purity, extinguishing, cure potion, and injury salve. I think I have most of these, but I think uh, I think we'll have to save this as a part two because we're running at an hour now, and unfortunately, I have some stuff to do uh, personally. So yeah, I think we'll call this one here, and we'll create a part two of curing this forest. But anyway. Uh, like always, hope you guys enjoy this one. Please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps. And until next time, later, everybody.